CBSC NCR solutions chapter number 4 quadratic equations exercise 4.4 and problem number 3 the problem is is it possible to design a rectangular mangrove grove whose length is twice its breadth and the EVA is 800 meters square if so find its length and breadth so we will go through solution now okay I can start with let breadth of just a breadth of rectangular mango grove equal to x meters and let length of rectangular mango grove equal to x times 2 because it's given to us that its length is twice its breadth, so it is 2x is equal to 2x meters. Now it's given that its area is 800. We know that the area of rectangle is equal to length times breadth, and its area is given to us, which is 800 equal to length is x, length is 2x and its practice x that we have supposed so we have here 2x square from here equal to 800 I can take this 800 to the left hand side I get 2x square minus 800 equal to 0 here now I can divide this the both of the sides by 2 to further simplify the equation so I get x square minus 400 equal to 0 so this is the quadratic equation here because the degree of this equation is equal to 2 and the degree is highest power of x and it's equal to 2 so it's a quadratic equation so now I can compare this equation quadratic with general form of quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 and if I compare both of these equations I get a equal to 1 b equal to 0 because there is no x term in this quadratic equation and c equal to minus 400 and in order to comment on the nature of roots I will have to check the value of discriminant and why we need to comment on the nature of the roots because they are asking us that is it possible to design a rectangular mango grove whose length is twice its breadth now if we get value of discriminant greater than 0 or we get value of d equal to 0 then we would say yes it is possible to have a rectangular mango grove whose length is twice its breadth because we will be able to have real roots because in this in this condition if we have d greater than 0 we have real and distinct root distinct roots distinct here d i s t i n c t and if d is equal to 0 we have also real and equal roots so in both of the cases if d comes out greater than 0 or it comes out equal to 0 we have real roots it means that they exist so if they exist it means that it would be possible for us to design such a rectangular mango rectangular mango grove whose length is twice its spread and if we have if by chance in this equation d comes out less than 0 then we would say that it is not possible to design a rectangular mango grove because in this case we have no real roots. By no real roots we mean that we cannot have any value of x which can satisfy this equation if d comes less than less than 0. Okay, let's check the value of discriminant now. d is equal to b square minus 4ac and b is 0 here and 4 times a, a is 1 and c is minus 400. And we get here 0 minus 4 times minus 400 is plus 1600 so I get 1600 as the value of discriminant so I have d greater than 0 so we fall under this category d is greater than 0 so yes the roots are real so we have real roots so if the roots are real it means that Yes, it is possible to design such a rectangular mango grove. So we write here, yes, it is possible to design. I won't write it completely. To design such a rectangular mango grove whose length is twice its breadth and area is 800 meters square. So now they are asking also 
to find the length and breadth of this rectangular mango group. So how we will find this? So we can solve this. So we can solve this quadratic equation by using quadratic formula or we can just solve it directly because it's it's coming out x square minus 400 is equal to 0. So I can take this 400 to the right hand side. So here x comes out plus minus 20 because here from here I can say x is equal to plus minus square root of 400 and square root of 400 is plus minus 20. So I get x is equal to 20 and minus 20 but I will have to discard minus 20 value because length cannot be in negative anything cannot be negative length of anything cannot be negative even the breadth cannot be negative and length cannot be negative it's one and the same thing so I would say length cannot be in negative so x is equal to 20 meters which is equal to breadth so breadth is equal to x is equal to 20 meters and length is equal to 2x that is posed because length is twice its breadth is equal to 2x is equal to total times 20 is equal to 40 meters so breadth is 20 meters and length is 40 meters so that's it about this problem number 3 in the next video I'll be covering chapter 4 quadratic equations exercise 4.4 problem number 4 see you guys